And here we are. The third walk of the day. No snow. Uh, well, there is a small pile on that side. But yeah. If today it really it will uh, it will rain later everything will melt away yeah as you can see we have done quite a lot of work on her fur removal her hair removal so instead of going of being black she's going gray yeah you can see it on the side but yeah uh, the top we still have well the top and the neck we are still waiting you are as a panazai and now backwards Frida Ecco And another dog on a walk Yeah Eh Monty came to visit and they were roughhousing for a while and then yeah you know I cannot film them because I have to provide TLC for both of them at the same time because if I do not then one is jealous if not the, the first one the second one is jealous so I have to take care of them at the same time and then Lisa was in such a good mood she went and destroyed another of her toys of course she was showing Monty how you have to deal if you catch a mouse or a rat you have to shake it and shake it and shake it and she tore well well she ripped not pretty one of her plushies one of the new plushies yeah Yeah, this is one of the special buses which is used for um, it's basically like uh, you no know, creative space um, it's going around and you know you can I don't know paint and whatever inside you know for kids No pretty Lizzy, wash that okay chess. So yeah, today is actually also the Fat Thursday, you know. According to the local custom tradition. This is the day when we sh uh, you know you you are first allowed to eat fried food um with that i mean donuts and you know you have basically only a short time okay i think that someone dropped fuito fuito dead bird someone threw out uh, 
throughout, you know, the kitty litter. Kitty litter. So yeah, you know, today is the first day that you can have officially donuts before, you know, Lent kicks in, starts next week. But yeah, we have already had some donuts this week and last week. So today, no donuts. No, they lizika, no. Pridi, pridi, they greva, no. Yeah. And some updates regarding our, you know, judicial, um, let's say, affair. So now the Prime Minister said that he will accept or that he had he had accepted the resignation but she still has to you know provide a full account what was going on um, he also had a working meeting with the leadership of the party of the minister in question because there was some speculation that they will leave the coalition the government and they came to the conclusion that they will continue being in the government but um, when the when the minister will actually resign the prime minister prime minister himself will have to take over the judicial ministry for you know for the um, interim period so for the three months no pretty no pretty lizzy no more more they know and then they will find uh, an expert on his or her field that will take over the ministry even though current minister she has a degree in law and also has a PhD. Okay, PhD is officially from the social sciences, but was from the field of international um, law. And she previously was a, a, a secretary general of this same ministry so the second person in the minister behind the mi ministry behind the minister so yeah and apparently at ministry they also realized they had also realized they they cannot nullify the contract for that building and so this week they ha they had announced that most likely they will um, keep the building, obviously because you know they bought it. And then Lizzie Tuki Tuki, I don't know where she wants to go through the mud, yeah. But uh, they will most likely one of the possibilities is now that they will use the building for housing their archives so yeah we will see what will happen so based on their you know statements 
the next week she will you know resign officially okay that's it from us Lisa apparently wants to go home she had enough